I don't know about you, but I often find it easy to fall into two extremes when dealing with difficult times. I can look at all the sucky situations around me or that I find myself in and get really bitter or resentful, finding it easy to fall into that woe is me mentality. Other times I go to the other extreme and look at all the challenges I've overcome with pride and satisfaction. These are dangerous attitudes because they focus on me, what I'm going through, or what I've overcome. As if everything was dependent on my strength. Sometimes I get so caught up in the chaos of life that it's easy to skip over taking the time to go to God and give Him my burdens or praise Him for carrying me through a difficult situation. In 2 Corinthians chapters 11 and 12, Paul talks about all the things that made him look important to people. His background, his upbringing, his religious and social status, and lets the people whom he's addressing know that he has things to brag about. He goes on to talk about all the difficult situations he has gone through. He mentions being thrown into prison, being beaten multiple times and in multiple ways, being stoned, being shipwrecked, facing all kinds of people who wanted to harm him, having to brave the elements, going without food or clothing, being worried about how new believers are doing in their faith, and the list just goes on. Paul then talks about something he calls a thorn in his flesh, some kind of physical weakness or injury that he pleaded with God to relieve him of. In response to Paul's plea, he tells us that God said this to him, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Paul goes on and responds, saying this, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This is such a powerful statement. Although God is with us through every step of the way, it is when we acknowledge to him that we are too weak and need him to work through us, that his power is perfected through us. God's strength not only sustains us, but strengthens us. It enlivens us. It wakes us up to experience his power, his love, his strength, his grace, and his provision. Let's pray. Almighty Father, thank you for choosing us, the weak and sinful people who all too often rely on ourselves instead of coming humbly before you for guidance, protection, and fulfillment. Please wake us up when we choose to wallow in self-pity. Please forgive us for the times that we boast in ourselves and our accomplishments instead of giving you the glory for blessing us with all of the abilities that we have. Help us to meditate on your promise to Paul and to remember that you tell us the same thing, that your grace is sufficient for us and your power is made perfect in our weakness. Thank you again for always carrying us through the difficult times and the good times in our lives. Help us to rest in your strength and to find peace in your presence as we go through each day. In your holy name we pray. Amen.